Alright, so welcome back to Compositing for Advertising. This is lesson number 3. In this lesson, we are going to create the initial canvas and the background. I'm going to be using Photoshop CC 2017. Feel free to use any version you want. If you have an old one, you can still follow along with this course all the way to Photoshop CS5. With that being said, I'm going to start by creating a new document and set the width to 3100 and the height to 2200. The resolution to 300 dpi, which is the sender for print. You can use a minimum of 72 dpi just for practice, but I don't recommend it if it's for a client. In color mode, I'm gonna select RGB. Again, if your project is gonna be printed, you wanna make sure to select CMYK, but this is gonna be on the web, so I'll leave it to RGB. I'm going to select 8-bit channel, select 16 if you want smoother gradients. But before you do that, I just want you to know that we are going to be working with smart object and blur filters a lot, and these filters will be painfully slow in 16-bit mode, especially with large files, unless you have a powerful machine. Alright, I'm gonna set the background to transparent and click create. First of all, I'm going to fill the canvas with background color which happens to be a nice orange color. I'm gonna do that by pressing shift backspace, choose background color and click OK. Next I'm gonna double click the layer to bring the layer style dialog box and choose gradient overlay. Then I'm gonna select foreground to transparent and change it to a very light orange. You can copy the hex code if you wanna choose the same color as mine. Then I'm gonna change the style from linear to radial and increase the scale to 100% or so then click OK. I wanna achieve a wall effect so I'm gonna duplicate this layer by right clicking and select duplicate layer. Or you can click Ctrl J. Hit Ctrl T for free transform and scale it down to about one third of its original size. Now on the gradient overlay, I'm gonna reduce the scale until it starts to look like a wall, and that's how they achieve this effect. Make sure align with layer is unchecked and click OK. I'm gonna group these layers by hitting Ctrl G and call it background. And that will be it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we're gonna start creating the orange peel so stick around and I'm gonna show you how to do that.